about losing to me at checkers again? But don't take it so hard. I'll give you another shot at the checker king after work. Thank you for your concern, Poncho, my old friend. But it was much more than merely a bad dream. Was it a wretched dream? Uh, not quite. Insufferable? No. Objectionable? Hideous? Malodorous? Uh, Poncho, I believe I just had the impossible dream. Just by definition, wouldn't that be impossible? Or maybe you just had a difficult dream, or perhaps an impossibly strenuous dream, or even... Look, it was my dream, and it was impossible, all right? The lunch crowd will be here soon. Dream or no dream, it's time to get to work. Two cows still mooing and a hail Caesar. Hold the bird. Order up. Noah's boy on bread. Side of frog sticks. Drag him through the garden. With a stop on the Alps. Everyone, terrible news! A new restaurant is opening up in town! Oh, Poncho, did you hear? That means competition! We might as well close our doors right now. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Many a restaurant has come and gone, but we're still standing. This is not just any restaurant. It is the Food Factory. Did you say the Food Factory? Oui, they are the most popular franchise in the world. No other restaurant within 50 miles of them can stay open. Do you, by chance, know exactly where they're opening their new restaurant? Oui. Don't you worry. Uh, the construction alone could stretch out for years. But there's no conceivable way they could open for business anytime soon. I wonder how long it'll take for them to attract the crowd. Don't think. Perish the thought. Our customers are true blue, and they'll never desert us. Wait a minute. This is it. This was in my dream. My impossible dream was warning me about the food factory. It's all coming true. Did your dream possibly tell you how to get our customers back? <sighs> what am I going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to king me! That'll do. How can we possibly fight this? Look, we'll restructure. We'll find an area they're not covering and do that. Uh, your move. I win! But they do everything. They have food as big as your head. Yikes! What's in this stuff? I don't know what to do, my friend. I'm afraid everything we've worked for is over. I can't believe my ears. We've made it through thick and thin together. This is no different. That's where you're wrong, Poncho. I'm afraid it's never been this thin. Hey, Don. Rematch tomorrow night? <laughs> What am I going to do?
help to take down the Checker King, man. I'm glad you're up, because I've been thinking and I got a couple of great ideas that are guaranteed to turn this place around. No, I believe I have the solution. My first dream told me what was to come. Last night's dream has revealed how we will combat the food factory. Uh, oh, okay. Um, but like I said, I got some ideas too. Yes, yes, fine. In my dream, every time I looked in a mirror, I saw a different reflection, which can only mean that to succeed, I need to be different than I am now. Maybe it just means you need to clean the mirrors in your dreams. We need to change the look and image of the restaurant. Make it different. Something more entertaining. Poncho, I've dreamed the impossible theme, and we're going to make it happen. With two for one coupons! <sighs> Run, don't walk! Get it? W-O-K, walk to Donny Ha Ha! I don't think this is going to work. Patience, my friend! Patience! La Cucumanja! A friend is solo! We're crazy, all right. Just wait, it'll work. Java Java, why pay a little for coffee when you can pay a lot? Oh, this is my best idea yet. <gasps> Where is everyone? <laughs> hey, Pancho, forget about that old cafe. Come over here. Look, look at how much food they serve. Don, hey, look, the checkerboard's all set up. How about a game to relax and take your mind off checkers? The stuff. Checkers? Don't you get it? We're going to lose it all. Everything we've worked for, and all you can think about is checkers? <sighs> I don't know, Poncho. Uh, maybe you should start looking for another job. and welcome to the cafe formerly known as La Mancha, where the food and service are par excellence. But between you and me, I'd avoid the salsa. It could kill a horse. Actually, I didn't come here to eat. I came here to hire you. I'm the manager of the food factory across the street. Perhaps you've heard of us? The food factory? It's a pretty big building right over there, across the street. Right here? On, on this street? We got more business than we can handle, and everyone tells me what a great waiter you are. So I'm here to offer you a job. Thank you, but I've got to say no. Uh, we're usually packed in here. Right about now? Look, Poncho, uh, think about yourself for a minute. Nothing personal but this Don fellow in this restaurant of failures. You've got to face facts and cut your losses. Like I said, think about yourself. Let me be straight with you. Don and I have worked together for years, but more importantly, we're friends. A friend is always loyal, Mr. Food Factory Man, and I'm gonna stick by and help my friend in his time of need. Well... Allow me to show you the door. Look, the door. I appreciate loyalty, but... It's the wooden thing with the knob. If you ever change your mind, just let me know. What did you say? I can't understand the word you're saying. Go ahead and go. Everyone else has deserted me. Why shouldn't you? Listen, I'm not leaving Cafe La Mancha. We're going to make it. You'll need to get some rest. Maybe we can play tomorrow night. Perhaps I'll get the answer to all our problems tonight. 
Good night, Don Quixote. Pleasant dreams. Oof. about the food factory. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far. It's across the street. To fight for the right without question or... Sure, that sounds wonderful. But unless I'm mistaken, attacking restaurants is against the law. Aren't you paying attention? This is my quest. Okay, listen to me very carefully. I'm telling you as a friend, you can't do this. Oh, but I must, and you're going to help me. You're going to make a fool of yourself. You first. Go! <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an... Louder! They can't hear you. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement. The venerable Don Quixote will this night defend the honor Restaurant, Cafe La Pancha. Pancho, leave him and join us. Thank you, my friend. That's quite enough. <laughs> I am Don Quixote, and I am calling out the food factory to meet me in a battle of honor. The winner shall keep his restaurant. The loser shall leave town forever. Are you afraid to cross swords with me? I give you this last warning. Meet me now and let us do battle, or I shall be forced to attack. That's crazy. Crazy, am I? Look, if you attack my restaurant, I'll have you arrested. Ha! That is where you're wrong, my friend. I fight for honor, and any authority you call will no doubt agree with me on that point. Hey, Don. Sheriff Bob here. Uh, don't do anything crazy or you'll get arrested. I'm afraid it's too late to back down now. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Don't do it. I must. <laughs> your armor and go to bed. I demand legal counsel. How about some friendly counsel? I brought you a few things for your sleepover. 
Hold on a minute. What you got in the bag? Just his regular bedtime supplies. Uh, did you bring my nighty night hat? Check. You're a good friend, Poncho. Uh, corn chips? Got them. Salsa? Extra spicy? Yep. That'll give you nightmares. Wait a minute. I'm doing this for your own good, Don. I need to stick by you and do what's best for you in your time of need. What are you talking about? I need my salsa. No, Don. What you need is to lay off the salsa. No. You've turned against me, too. Say it isn't so, Poncho. Not you. No! What? What are you all doing? Any bad dreams last night? Well, come to think of it, no. Any dreams at all? Uh, no, I slept quite well, thank you. Your cells are surprisingly comfortable. I knew it! It's the extra hot salsa! Every night you've been eating it before you went to bed! That's why you've been having bad dreams! Now, I'm sure that's part of it, but you don't expect me to believe... <laughs> That do it all right. Uh, you want to press charges? We bent the giant spatula back. Uh, no harm, no foul. If you agree to stop eating that stuff, you're free to go. Go? Go where? Cafe La Mancha is through. I've got nowhere to go. Don't be so sure. I need six orders of toast, extra crispy. Is that toast French or domestic? French! Open for breakfast. How did you ever come up with that idea? Simple. The food factory doesn't open up until lunchtime. I told you, find something they don't do, and then do that. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you for standing by me when I needed you the most. Hey, that's what friends do, my friend. Now let's get to work. We have hungry people to feed. It would be my pleasure. Say, how about a friendly game of checkers after lunch? The Checker King accepts the challenge and awaits his coronation. <laughs> <laughs> 